Hi, I'm Ahul Harry with DevExpress. In this video, you're going to see the new ASPX grid lookup control. And it's got the best of the functionality between a combo box and a grid view. Now, before, if you ever wanted to embed a grid inside of a combo box, it was a little bit of a headache. So we've created this new control that addresses a lot of issues like checkboxes, sorting, selecting, all within the grid that's embedded in a combo box. And in this video, you'll see how to data bind it and set it up for multiple selection. So let's check it out. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at the new ASPX grid lookup control, which combines the best of a combo box and an a the ASPX grid view. Now to data bind it, it's pretty simple. So we're going to start with the blank page. And in the DX 10.2 data tab, you will find the ASPX grid lookup. Double click to drop it onto your form. Then let's data bind it. We're going to bind it to the categories table of the Northwind database. So I'm going to select new data source from the smart tag, select access database, point to my Northwind's table in my app data folder, and I'll simply select a couple of the fields from category, category name and description. Now let's just take a quick look at this in action. Now, when I click on the combo box drop down, I have multiple columns. So I have the grid displaying the categories. Now, if I click on these headers, you'll notice that I have a callback which can sort it because this is if the full power of the ASPX grid view within the ASPX combo box here. And now let's see how we can set up multiple selection in here. To start, first thing we want to do is add a command column. So click on the smart tag and bring up the ASPX grid lookups columns editor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an item and it's going to be the command column. Now by default, the, the show select checkbox should be set to true. I click OK. Now I also want to set up multiple selection. So I'll go to the properties of the ASPX grid lookup and set the selection mode. I'll change it from single to multiple. Now let's take a quick look at this in action. Now we can see we have multiple checkboxes. But one of the things is that we're getting too many items up here. So let's choose only the category name and not the description as well. To do this, select the ASPX grid lookup. And in the properties, we're going to set a couple of its uh, items, such as the multiples text separator. Right now, it's just a semicolon. So we're going to change it to a comma and a space and set the text format string. Now, currently, the text format string displays the first column semicolon second column. So we're going to change it to display only the first column. Now we also want to make sure that we've set up our key field name. In this case, we're going to set it to category name. Now let's take a quick look at this in action. Now when I select the drop down and I'll select beverages and condiments, we get our separator as well as only selecting the category name. Now, let's say I also want to add filtering capabilities. Because this is the grid, we can add filtering to the category name or description. So we'll add it just to the category name. Now, to do this, we need to modify the ASPX grid view embedded within the combo box. So what we do is go to the properties of the ASPX grid lookup and go to the grid properties. So if we see this under settings grid view properties, we have all the properties that are available to a regular ASPX grid view. Now, we're going to go to Settings and set the Show Filter Row to True. Now, I only want to show it for one of the columns. So I'm going to enable it for the category name, but for the description, I'm going to set it to False. So I'll go to the Description's Settings field here and set Allow Auto Filter to False. Now, let's take a look at this in action. Now, when I hit the drop down, I have the checkboxes as well as the auto filter. So I can select only items starting with BEV and the grid will auto filter it to show me only those items. As you saw, the grid lookup is very easy to configure. And it has support for server mode as well as item templates. So you can set up each of the templates for how you want it to display within that grid. Thanks for watching.